motherfuckers call me an asshole every day, but I don't listen to that shit because I know what's right because my crew tells me it's right and I respect them. Come on, they keep saying Def Jam, Def Jam all through that article, all through these reviews. There's no mention of Rockefeller, there's no mention of us putting together the tour, it's all Def Jam. You're telling me exactly why I don't really fuck with Def Jam. Because every time we get next to y'all, they get the credit. We own our own company, we look like artists. Bleak man. Yo, Bleak, you got a jacket over there, all right? See this jacket? Shit. You see the Memphis Bleak? I didn't never have a Rockefeller coat that said Memphis Bleak. This is the only thing Def Jam got one up on. But other than that, Rockefeller is the home. Oh my God! <laughs> All of a sudden, there's Jeff Jam jackets with niggas' names on all over the tour. That shit is weak, man. Yeah. You ain't so been doing that. With the Everybody wants a jacket. If you want to do something, make a motherfucking Hard Night Live tour jacket. We don't want that shit. No, we don't, why, do, why do I need Beanie Man and, and Memphis Week wearing a Def Jam jacket? They don't rock the fuck. All of a sudden, niggas got jackets with their names on and on, on, on our tour. It makes it look like a Def Jam tour. Wait a second. All right, all right, look, look. You're the president of the company, right? So that means you're smart. Am I right? But don't sit there and play dumb. Now, wait, wait, now, now, wait, wait. If everybody on this tour has a, a Def Jam jacket on, what would be the general perception of this when people are just walking around and don't know nothing? What would it look like? So then, knowing this, why wouldn't you be extra sensitive about giving everybody Def Jam jackets on this tour? Why? Why? You're president, now you know. So either you're real smart or you're real dumb. It's one or the other. And I'm not going to say that you're real dumb. I'm going to say you're real smart. So you know better. You all know better. Hi. What's going on? So you guys want to find out what's on the official Def Jam tour bus? All right, come on up. We'll see what's going on in here. It's like your foot. Motherfucking Def Jam um, presents the um, Def Jam Hard Night Life on Russell Simmons show. That was love? That was That's it. What do you, how was that a mistake? Yeah, from the mistakes. How was that a mistake? Because Russell does not look at every single thing that comes he up. He doesn't. All right, I'm sorry to say, Russell, one of your, Russell, the, the person that Simmons owns is fucking good. Doesn't know that this is not his core? No. He don't know that? No, he knows that. But so wait, wait, all right, the people at his company don't know that? Right, maybe not. Def Jam tour bus consists of uh, nine video screens. Um, we've got digital curtains. Let the di let the curtains down. Let them well, well, let them check the curtains as they go down. The little thing, the little mistakes you make are making just because you're not trying to. Those mistakes are making it so that it looks like it's your tour. You no, know, sometimes you get tired of pulling curtains on tour, so I thought we'd get some electronic curtains. Now, look, y'all niggas are too fucking professional, and you're too smart to make these kind of dumbass mistakes. You all right? Sony wouldn't do this. Loud gets his prop. RCA don't take that. Bad Boy gets his prop. Ashley don't take that. But Face gets his prop. Y'all gotta be out your fucking face in everything we do. Then I gotta be the asshole and yell. I don't feel like doing that shit all the time. I'm sick of that shit. Yo, 30% of my day goes to correcting your fucking mistake. They're gonna pay me more for that? It is true, man. That's Les's towel. That's Big Les's towel. You just, man. Yo. The thing I told you when I came in is that we don't want to get overshadowed by fucking Def Jam's name, by Russell Simmons, and by your logo. I was guaranteed it wouldn't, and it's exactly the opposite. And you're not doing nothing to stop it. You know how you do? You give everybody fucking Def Jam jacket. This is our cool out area. We watch TV, uh, play Nintendo. 65. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Please don't take an act of, uh, of love. That ain't no love, man. That's promotion. That's trying to change. Yo, who do you think you're talking to? I understand. That's basically the inside of the Dev Jam tour bus. All I need y'all to do is cut the checks. That's it. We're taking all the chances. We're the ones that boycott the Grammy. We're the ones that motherfucking put our ass on the line and did this tour. And we still don't get the credit for it. Why not? I don't know why. Because y'all fucking fat ass around all the time. Every time we talk, that's we bullshit. Like we're not partners. We're not partners. <laughs> that, 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 that's stupid for you to say. We ain't partners. What are we? Y'all cut us checks. Y'all got 25%, and what's the name has another 25%. But y'all not equal partners. You don't think I know that? You and Polly got split 50%. All right, so y'all not partners. You got a quarter. You a quarter order. That's it. <laughs> yeah.